I think I would leave all my antennas plugged up to that Brian, but I think I'd take care of that main that went to the radio. Hey, yeah, those things are too close to, you know, they're in close proximity. I, you get a strong enough hit, it's going to go right over that into your other switches. Yeah, it'll arc over. Yeah, it will. You ain't going to control lightning. I'm going to go get me some corn souffle, a bowl of corn souffle. I'll be back. Yeah, maybe the glass jar is a better idea. Because it's it'd be easy to just unplug the, the antennas and put them in a glass jar. K4 APK. 34 KMA. W4 KZO. KW4 ES. W4 NNX. K4 JD at 20. I know, I've seen lightning over at my D's house taking in trying 99 and just blow it apart out of the tree. I mean, it just it hit it and it just blowed it apart. And at Antron 99, I head up here for 30 something years. I think it is a big line. Well, Tim, when he blew, when it blew up that Antron, did it get anything in his uh, shack? Yeah, he got all his radios and everything, but I mean, it, it physically blew up the Antron. Wow, I took a direct hit then. Yeah, sure did. I guess the kids couldn't play out in the yard anymore. Didn't pick fiberglass up over there for a while, but yeah, I mean, it hit him bad, but you know, you know, I don't know if he had that one grounded or not. I don't think he did. I know when I put mine up in 93, 94, I had like a... Uh, Eight gauge wire coming down, heavy copper down to a ground rod. I mean, I grounded the antenna itself. Well, I don't think I grounded the antenna. I think I grounded the pole that it was on the steel pole. But uh, yeah, I always figured lightning would get that one because I mean, it stuck out of the top of that pine tree and it was just a clear shot from everywhere. But the tree guy got it when he dropped that top piece. It just shattered it to pieces. He had to drop it below the pole because like I had them big nails. I had big big nails in, in that pole into that tree. So he had to cut it and let all of that drop. He just put it on the back of the truck. I guess he... He wouldn't able to do nothing that would. You ever seen lightning go through an airplane? Lightning go through Walt Roger? An airplane? No, I don't know. I ain't never been on too many airplanes. Yeah, you know, lightning travels right through it.
There are a lot of things about them that scare you, but they're more safer than right driving. Yeah, yeah, you got that right. Hey, Chuck, you would have loved when I was working a tower in South Florida, the uh, place called the Del Rico Tower. It had a fiberglass dome that types these white fiberglass domes, and it's all like cop made out of copper and all inside. I was up on top of that thing a thousand feet up when lightning hit that thing, and man, it rocked. I mean, you're in there, you're grounded, and you're safe, but it, 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 your eyes will open up. Yeah, I don't know about that. So I know on all your commercial buildings, they got them, they about what, six inches, eight inch, uh, copper rods scattered out. All that stuff on the roof of these high rises, just right, lightning rods, and they, it all goes to copper, big copper uh, rated wire, and it runs down through the building and down into the ground but there's a ton of copper grounding all them buildings. Yeah, I've seen that before. It's quite a few of them. Well, I mean, it works, you know, it, you know, grounding works if it, it, you know, I know it works, but uh, it's got to be done right. And, and it's probably not 100% foolproof, you know what I mean? I mean, if it's a big enough joke, it's just, you know, who knows? Yeah, you're right. And it depends on each entity. One of the towers I had, we had up in uh, Dug Gap Mountain, they had no problem, the repeater or anything with the lightning from any of the antenna or the AC. It got zapped from the telephone portion of it, the, the phone company. They took a hit on, the, on one of the underground lines, like from a lightning strike. And it came through the D mark and destroyed the repeater where it, you know, you get the connectivity uh, for like uh, going back to the dispatch and all that. That's kind of really strange because you would think that something with that uh, amount of power wouldn't be going through a little 18 gauge wire like that. It'd burn it up. It, it, put it this way, when I pulled the when I pulled the Cat Five that connected from the repeater, like in the front of the Quantar, into the, their D-Mark stuff, the cable was fried. It was blackened, especially, you could see it really good at the, 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 uh, the uh, RJ, uh, what is it, RJ-11 or whatever connector. Oh, well, yeah, when you described that, 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 <laughs> that reminds me of that antenna Kev, uh, Kevin was texting me about earlier. He wanted to know how I painted it, uh, with what kind of paint. And uh, I remember when I fried that, uh, oh, man, I don't remember what that thing is. Kevin, what, what is that antenna? That Vector 5000? Yeah, 4000. Yeah, Vector 4000, man. I fried that thing with a key big owl up on it. Took that, uh, took that uh, matching uh, or section in there, and uh, man, that thing was just black. Oh yeah. Well, so was half the components on the circuit board too. Hey, Kevin. Hey, How is your uh, noise over there tonight? Since all that was uh, long past you, I guess. It's pretty rough tonight, about 10, sitting around 10 plus. Yeah, it's kind of bad here, but it, what's really bad is the, the, the spikes. I, I'm, I'm getting, at times, you know, uh, static uh, spikes of up to plus 30, and it just kind of wipes everything out. Yep, same here. Yeah, bands ain't been in good shape. It's hard. I couldn't even talk on 40 this morning. And uh, I hear Texas pretty good, but anybody else, man, it was like, it was just, you couldn't really carry on a conversation with nobody. Yeah, overall, it's been kind of lousy lately. And then before I sat down here, I went to 
40, and 40 looked like it had opened up pretty good this evening. But, uh, yeah, the bands have been crazy. When was the last time y'all have heard anything uh, uh, on 10? Uh, you know, I mean, I've heard little bits and pieces here, but it doesn't seem like it's been open, uh, you know, that much here recently. players just took out all the bands has been real bad for about a week, week and a half now. I just talked to Chile in Uruguay on ten meter over the weekend. Well you must have caught a good opening there, right? I guess, you know, uh I don't know. It was getting her done. And that was just with 100 watts, too. I don't even have uh, um, n nothing even hooked up on 10 meter. What time of day was it? Do you remember? Oh, I'm sure it was during the day because uh, at night. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was during the day. Yeah, I don't know. Every time I go up there and check it during the day here lately, it's just been, I haven't heard much. Then, you know, you never know. I mean, it's just a hit and miss kind of thing. I think it was like late afternoon or something like that. But uh, usually I don't do any DX unless it's on the weekend. And here lately I ain't had time to turn the radio on. So... This weekend, uh, this past weekend, I was pretty relaxed, so I turned it on, did, did search around for, searched the band for cool contact, so that's what I did. I talked to Chile and Uruguay. Uruguay. Yeah, you follow the gray line, and uh, it opens up, you know what I mean, but we have been having solar flares and forty has just been lousy. Yeah, I did that on the tornado, too. The tornado 27 up there, about 75 foot of pine tree. So you was on the vertical. Yeah, man. I worked, I worked a world on that Antron on 10 meters. Yeah, I've heard people talk about that, too. You know, barefoot radio, five watts, work in the world on 10 meters. And uh, I think it's probably been a long time since it's been that open. Oh, well, it was pretty open in 2013 when I got my license. It was, it was in pretty good shape. I used to talk to California as a gray line come down. About, I don't know, four or five months until they, since it finally just went away. Yeah, well, I've only been in this since uh, 21, uh, so, you know, I don't have a, I, you know, when I came in, I, I don't remember 10 meters uh, in 22. I don't remember it being really open that much. Um, I think it was, yeah, I think it was open earlier this year, but apart from that, it's just kind of been dead here recently. Justin. Yeah, corn souffle. Corn souffle. W4KZO. Remember Custard. KW4ES. KD4, Kaylee. 